I stayed in a capsule hotel in Tokyo so let's check it out and see what it is like staying in a capsule hotel. Now for this one night I think I roughly paid around 2,000 to 3,000 yen for this hotel for one night. So when you check in you get given this piece of paper. This piece of paper is really cool because of the QR code you tap it on the wall and then this opens your locker to put all of your bags, storage, anything you've taken on your travels. And then when you shut the door, it locks your locker, which I thought was really cool. And as you can see, 314 is my capsule for the night. On our floor of the capsule hotel, there are many capsules on our floor. What's really handy, as you can see on the floor, they have numbers. So with the numbers below, you should be able to guide yourself to which capsule you are staying in for the night. Now for me, 314 was right at the end. Now on check-in, they give you a basket with things to help you through the night. So they give you some pyjamas, they give you some slippers. They give you a toothbrush and toothpaste. We also get a couple of towels. So this one is for the floors and then you get a regular towel. So overall what we got in this basket was really nice. This is definitely some nice items to have for the stay. So here is the shower. Overall really nice private shower section you have in the capsule hotels. And I'll tell you one thing, I did really like this shower. They sort of had like a waterfall feature for this shower. So when you turn on the shower, you have two settings, either the classic spray of the shower or there's this little hole at the top of the ceiling. So when you release that, it just kind of pours water down. And it's definitely nice to have that kind of waterfall feature where the water is just pouring down. It definitely makes that a really nice shower and overall it's a great facility to just get yourself cleaned and washed off from the long day of traveling around japan and also here's just a quick tour of the washing facilities in a capsule hotel so as you see there's many different shower pods there's also many sinks for you to do your nightly routine such as moisturizing brushing your teeth and etc at the end which i thought was very nice they had a table and some chairs so if you have done a capsule hotel with a couple of mates then you have a slight small seating area in the back wash room facility if you time it right as well one of these pods has a bath and sadly when i came it was in use but overall if you time it right you might be able to get a bath in a capsule hotel if you are a bath lover like me but overall top notch washing facilities i highly recommend as you can see on this little tour as well i am wearing the pajamas they gave me now if any of you are wondering and especially if you're a slightly larger person coming to japan so the pajamas they provided um, they did fit and for me i'm roughly between a size 14 and 16 in uk clothing so if you are any sort of size around me and you come to a place like this and they give you pajamas the pajamas should fit also there's many bins in this capsule hotel as well so if you have any rubbish or when you've had a shower and you need to drop your towels off you shouldn't leave this place messy you know respect it like your own home now going back to my capsule pod for bedtime so just before i go to bed let me just show you what the toilets are like in this capsule hotel now overall these ones are really cool because the second you open the door the toilet seat pops up and welcomes you. They also have a sink on the inside and a sink on the outside as well. So many places to wash your hands or again, just do any nightly routines on the floor you're staying in in your capsule hotel. But overall, very nice toilet. You know, you can't really complain. It's a Japanese toilet. It has all the high tech functions you expect when you come to Japan. So in the time of me filming this video is around 11 a.m. I think currently we were very lucky for the capsules we booked since so far as you can see a lot of them are still open so it doesn't look like there's many people staying this night which is very helpful but as you can see there's one closed in the distance so please try and be respectful if there are pods shut because they are probably sleeping and wanting to get some rest. But as you can see, so here's my friend Michaela on our travels around Tokyo. 
and it's time to go into the pod and just see what the pod experience is like. So when you climb into the pod, first things first is you have a little blind that you need to pull down. So I shall do that now to get some privacy and now just to explore what's inside my pod. So overall, we have a really nice pillow. I really like these curved pillows. It definitely provides enough support for your head, especially if you are a person who likes to toss and turn. They also give you two little side pockets if you want to put your phone or any items on there. And then we have a couple of dial points. So we have a few USB chargers and we have a dial to turn the lights on and off. Overall, just two useful buttons you need in the pod. This pod is pretty spacious. You know, here's me lying down completely on the pod and my feet aren't touching the shutters yet. And also here's me just sticking my foot in the air just to see sort of height wise how tall it is. Is only just reaching the top of the ceiling and I'm roughly around five foot six so you can take an idea of how much space they give you for height. I feel pretty spacious, still have a lot of space between my hands to the wall, it's not like I'm in a coffin, there is space to toss and turn which is all you need. This pod is just the size of a regular single size bed and they give you a nice size duvet as well. So I felt pretty comfortable. Temperature wise, I felt fine. I didn't feel too hot or too cold, but it's time to go to bed and see what the sleeping experience is like in the capsule hotel. So I will see you guys in the morning. So good night. Okay, so it's morning now and overall I slept okay. As I said earlier, with these capsule hotels, the walls tend to be thin, so you do hear your neighbours bouncing around. So one thing just to be important is try to be as quiet as possible so you don't disturb your other neighbours. One thing I recommend as well is if you are someone who's staying in a top bunk, just keep an eye on the stairs as they are very narrow and thin. So you will have to take your time when going up and down. Uh, definitely just make sure you hold on to the handrails provided. But yeah, the, I enjoy the capture hotels. I think they're worth the money and I definitely recommend them. If you want a cheap stay in Japan and you're not too fussed about the space and size you get, then I really recommend the capsule hotels. I think they're very handy and I think they're great value for the price. So if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If there's anything you want to see in the future, please let me know in the comments down below. And just remember guys, keep being awesome, keep being amazing. And I will see you guys in the next Japan related video. Bye.